Hi folks, Kaif here. And have you ever wondered, you know, um, maybe your significant other always complain, yeah, you got a really good kayak, you know, with the pedal bow, and you can, uh, uh, having fun on the water, but it's only one person. Have you ever wondered, um, can we have improved you know, this pescador kayak you know, to add a second seat so the other companion can go with you and to be uh, more fun? And today, I'm going to teach you now how to add the second seat into our uh, Pescador kayak and then uh, your, significant, your significant other should not complain that much you know, once you add on the other seat on the back of your kayak. So stay tuned. Okay, let's talk about uh, what kind of material that you need to finish these projects. And first, you need to have a kayak seat and the one that I have is yeah, it's for it got like a back support and also ha have a little bit cushion on the the bottom. And the most important thing is it got different strap. It got four strap in mine, and that would be crucial since you gotta tie uh, into your kayak much easier. And we were using the, the the back storage area to tie some of our strap, and the other we will add. A little bit modification to make that happen so at least four strap and if we want to have uh, the other model have more it, it can buy that but uh, the one that I have is four strap so the second equipment to make more comfy is you can add like a little more cushion since the one that I have the, um, the seat with the back is pretty thin on the bottom so I add another uh, piece of comfort to add another foam deck cushion on the bottom so you can sit even more comfortable. And then the third material that you need is a one pad eye. And the one that I have is like the uh, plastic, high plastic pad eye. And that was to be sufficient for you to do our projects. And then come to how to fixing the pad eye into your on, onto your kayak you can have a few different choice and the first choice you know, that the people may, may do is uh, using the something called the the tri grip uh, river rivet uh, tri grip rivet and um, that is one of the options they can do and if you don't have the inside access of your uh, kayak but uh, the one that I'm going to put is uh, on the back of the, our kayak, so we got like a store, storage area that you can open it up. So that uh, may not be a, the best choice. So the other option that you can have is using the uh, regular uh, pon pony uh, screw. The one that you saw in here is the stainless steel uh, pony screw. Um, some people may use it just like the other. Um, that show you for the rivet and if you don't have the inside access in, uh, of your uh, kayak you can using that kind of option but um, since we have this just like what I said we have this storage area that we can open it up on the back so we can have some other a better choice that I'm going to show you next so here's the best option they can use you can using the um, mechanical uh, screw with some nuts and definitely uh, that would be the cell locket nut and if we want to add a extra string you can add some the the washer and th those are all stainless steel so it would be good for you uh, to use inside the water and outside the water and even the salt water or fresh water will be suitable if you're using stainless steel so here's the the best option since we got the inside storage that we can access through the kayak so that's what we were using it um, since we have one uh, pet eye so i was using two screw with the two washer and two um, two nut uh, not the nut with the plastic in it so uh, it will not uh, unscrew it by itself that easily Next, talk about the the tool that you need. Uh, you need to using a a drill, 
and I'm using the Phi uh, Phi 32 drill bit to drill uh, the pilot hole for the screw and, and next you also need to have the, uh, the drill with the Philip hat to after you drill the pilot hole you need to use a Philip hat to screw the screw into your kayak and then you can using the uh, knot nut to, to tighten it inside. Last, we also need to have an adjustable uh, wrench and it can go uh, bigger and smaller depending on the size of the net and that's also essential too since we have the inside access of the, the kayak to tighten the pedal. Since I already done with the modi modification myself, I just add one of the paradise in here, so I just explain how I did it. And uh, like I told you, uh, we got inside access of the uh, kayak, so we can uh, able to using the screw and and not not to uh, to uh, fixing this uh, pedal. And I try to put as uh, almost near the edge of the uh, my kayak since the other the other side we have the pedal uh, no we have the handle to holding the kayak so we can uh, utilize that handle as well as the um, the pedal to fixing the the seat so and all you need to do is using the five uh, twenty three drill bit to drill uh, two pilot hole you mark it that area that you want to uh, put and uh, you can drill the pilot hole and then put the pedal on the top and then uh, using the Philip head uh, screw with the drill bit to 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 uh, screw that that uh, screw onto the kayak and then uh, using the adjustable wrench on the bottom and holding the nut nut and just tightening it uh, while you screw and tight with the the, um, the screw over here so that's how you fixing the the pedal onto your kayak so once you have the uh, this one and 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 also uh, we're going to utilize the handle on the uh, white side to fixing the the seat so I'm going to show you how you fixing the seat next Uh, first, I'm going to put the cap back in. Since once you fix the pad eyes, and, and we don't need to open the storage any area anymore. And I told you, you know, a piece of comfort, you can buy like a extra cushion. And this one is for the stadium seat. So I bought it from Walmart and um, so you can also have a little strap. You can strap the. You can fixing the the seat tight with the the other seat on top. So here's the kayak seat. And you just put on the top of this. And if you want to have more more sturdy with the the seat, you can using the own strap of this stadium's phone set with that so hide a little bit to make it firmer and once you got the facts is uh, my kayak seat we have the four different straps so our back of our kayak already have a little uh, anchor area with the holes in it so all you need to do is uh, using the top strap and also have the little hook for the uh, to hook on anything so you can uh, this is the carabiner so using that carabiner, come with this strap and just hook it up 
on the back of your kayak. That little hook um, is for the storage area, right? This, is, this one whole area is for the storage area. So we got the other top, click, uh, fix it on the other side. And on the back, uh, since we got another strap for the back, and this is also has a cabin. Eh? So the, the one that we uh, create for our anchor, that pedal, you can hook onto your pedal. And the other strap, um, you can, since I just utilize the handle as the other anchor, so you can uh, wrap around the, um, the handle and then using this yeah, cabina and just open it up and put the strap inside so that it fix. So definitely after you sit inside, you can adjust the the tension of the strap and depend on whether you want to have more support on the back or, or what not to tighten it or loosen it depend on the personal preference and here's how you add the uh, extra seat on the back of our kayak so uh, later I'm going to show you some picture um, I have some picture with my, my son sits on the back of the kayak and um, so I'll show you uh, the end result. So with that being said, and since this this um, kayak can support like 450 pounds, so uh, as long as you are not exceeding the uh, limit of the kayak, that um, it should be able to flow pretty smoothly with the pedal on and you can pedal around with the second person on the back. So. That's solving the issue with the extra seat. With that being said, that should be how easy it is you know, to add the second seat on the back of the kayak so you can enjoy the kayaking with the, the other person. And so, so hopefully your significant other will not complain that much you know, since it's no longer a selfish you know, a kayak thing and you know, it's just solo you know, with um, by yourself and you can cruising with you know, some other person as well so hopefully that solving the some of the complaint that another significant other may may complain from time to time and and hopefully you can enjoy with uh, your your added kayak so see you next time